James and Sandophon. The Lord will come, and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all people a feast of rich food and choice wine, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wine. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all people, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord of hosts has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. And I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Alleluia. The Lord be 
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee. He went up on the mountain and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry for fear that they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise in today's first reading from the prophet Isaiah, we have the hope and the promise of the Messianic age. And it's described as a great banquet, a banquet in which all people of every nation and every race will be invited to come to this great banquet. It will be a time when the lame will be healed, and the sick will be made whole. It will be a time of great joy, of rejoicing, the Messianic Age. You can see how important this was to the people of the Old Testament as they look to the time when everything will be satisfied and they will come to this time of great peace. And again, it is described as a great meal. When we come to the Gospel, we see the fulfillment of that Messianic promise, that Messianic hope. Jesus is the fulfillment of that hope. His coming at Christmas. And we are all invited up onto this mountain, to this banquet, this great banquet. But we also see what the coming of Jesus meant. The lame will be made whole. The, well, look like how it's stated here. The deformed will be made whole, the lame will be walked, the blind will be able to see. And it will be a time of wholeness and a time of peace. And it's described also as a banquet. Because what do we hear right after that? That Jesus feeds the thousands as he feeds all of us at this table in the Eucharist. The fulfillment of that messianic hope of the promise of Messiah who is going to come and usher in a new age. Now we have a long way to see the fulfillment of that new age and we look around the world about us. But it is a promise that's held out to each and every one of us. The messianic promise fulfilled in the coming of Jesus, who gives his very body and blood to each and every one of us. He feeds us, and he brings us wholeness. He makes the blind see. And believe me, we are all in many ways blind to the meaning of life. And he helps us to see the meaning of life in his very presence, in his very life given to each and every one of us. The true fulfillment of the messianic promise that we heard in the prophet Isaiah. This new age, the age when we will all be made whole in God's great love and given his very self to each and every one of us. Trusting in our merciful Father, we place our needs before him. For church leaders, may the Holy Spirit fortify them in their mission of spreading the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For elected officials at every level of government, 
May God bring them a new respect for the dignity and sanctity of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear me. For all who face daily suffering, may God bring healing to their pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear me. For this faith community, as we prepare our hearts for the Lord this Advent season, may God's grace be with us on our spiritual journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear me. For all who have died, may God bring them to his eternal feast. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear me. For the people of St. Martin's, the intention of this Mass, and for our own personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear me. Our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. We offer in faith and hope. We ask this through your Son, Christ. Blessed ye, Lord, and of all creation, who created the blessed we have this bread we offer you, which are the actual works of human hands that they become for us, the bread of life. Blessed ye, Lord, and of all creation, who created the blessed we have this bread we offer you, which are the vital works of human hands that they become for us, our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, beloved, from the Lord, that my sacrifice and yes may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands to the praise of the Lord and the for our good and the laws of the Church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery. And powerfully accompany for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For he has done that his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design he formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all at last is made manifest, we who are for that day may inherit the great promise, in which we now near to hope. And so with all the angels and like angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God.
Take these all of you and age of eight, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when Sapphros ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you from many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Land of God,
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am God. Behold, the Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. And for those joining us from home, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.